So you want to buy a Porsche and you realize that the early Porsche Boxsters can be had for under $10,000. Should you buy one? For that money, what you'll get is a car that has just over 200 horsepower, I believe it's 201, and it weighs 2,800 pounds. This results in a quick car and because of its mid-engine design, it handles very well. Uh, it's not going to be the fastest car, you're not going to win a lot of drag races, especially against modern cars. But it will be a fun car to drive, especially on twisty roads, and on the track it will do well. The interior can be a little plasticky. They... It was a bit of a cost-cutting uh, interior, and the late newer Boxsters, you get a lot more quality, but it's still a nice quality interior with uh, trims such as leather around, but there are quite a bit of plastic and that is probably the biggest uh, downside to the interior is just the quality of some of the pieces and a couple things have been known to uh, wear out um, easily. The biggest thing when you buy any Porsche is going to be parts. If you're going to need repairs, the parts for a Porsche are going to cost quite a bit more than say a Dodge or a Chevy. Even more than uh, some European cars or Japanese cars. So when you go into it, even though you're only spending $10,000, you should make sure that you are prepared for possible expensive repairs. Uh, one big issue with these 986 Boxsters, the early Boxsters, is the IMS bearing failure. Um, there's a retrofit kit that can be put on them. Uh, many owners have already done that, so it's a good thing to ask when you're buying it. And you can use it as a negotiation tool if it hasn't been done to try to get the price down a little bit more so you can do it yourself. Uh, often it's done when, uh, clutch, uh, it, when the clutch is changed. The other th uh, common problem is RMS, uh, the rear main seal, can leak oil. So look for um, any signs of oil leaks as it could be a more expensive problem to, to fix. Uh, driving one of these cars, they're very good handling as I said before and they give you a good sporty feel, lightweight. So there's uh, having the sound right behind you is great. And in our next video, we're going to show you uh, some video clips of us driving this 1999 Porsche Boxster and let you know how we like it driving and whether you should get it. The looks are a bit, da uh, a bit dated as far as the headlights, but overall it has classic Porsche lines and for under $10,000 you're getting about as good a car you can get. So subscribe now so you don't miss when we get to drive this Boxster. And, uh, Stay tuned as we will be taking it down the road soon.